This is a screencast on the use of the Philips Spark ultrasound machine. If you see this screen, you want to touch the moon button in the top left hand corner. This will wake the machine, allowing you to see the control panel here. The next step is to touch the start end button in the top left hand corner. This will bring up the following screen. You will now need to grab the barcode scanner to scan in the patient ID under the MRN field. The next step is to move the cursor into the last family name field and scan in the patient's MRN again. Use the barcode scanner now to scan in your own ID into the performed by field. Next, move the cursor over the transducer area and select your transducer. Next, move the cursor now over the exam field to select your presets. Finally, move the cursor over the save and exit field and save and exit. In summary, select start end followed by scanning the patient's ID in the MRI field, then scan the patient's ID again in the last family field Finally, scan your ID in the Perform By field. Then select the transducer, select the exam presets, and finally save and exit and you're ready to scan. This will be the screen that you then see. You can still select transducer by selecting the transducer button, which will cycle through the different transducers each time you push the transducer button on the control panel. The depth can be controlled by sliding your finger along the depth control panel or touching one end or the other of the depth control. Similarly, the same thing can be done with gain. The eye scan button or optimize button controls the overall gain. The freeze button is located here. You can then hit the acquire button to store a still image. If you hit the acquire button without hitting the freeze button first, you will store a cine clip of the previous six seconds that you scanned. When you're done scanning, make sure you hit the start end button again to end the study and be sure to save and archive all your scans so that they will be automatically sent to our QPath archiving system. Be sure to plug in the machine once you're done as the battery will be drained and is costly to repair or replace. Finally, make sure you go to a workstation and complete your worksheets in QPath for quality assurance.